Hey guys, come on downstairs and welcome to Minnesota Twins franchise. We are in season number five, and this is episode number 279, and the postseason starts today. A look at the playoff bracket, the two wildcard games, the Angels are in Houston against the Astros, the Cubs are on the road in San Francisco to take on the Giants. The winner of that one will get the Dodgers. The winner of the Angels-Astros will get the Texas Rangers. And let's see who wins. The Angels win the wild card game over Houston, so they will play the Texas Rangers. And in the National League, the Giants with a 5-4 win over the Cubs. The Giants and the Dodgers will play in the NLDS. All right, everybody, it came down to the final day of the regular season, but we clinched a playoff spot winning the American League Central, and that would get us to the division series. We have home field advantage against the Boston Red Sox, the defending, two-time defending World Series champions in this franchise. And we're going to send Sonny Gray to the hill. First inning underway. Target filled, A.J. Pollock at the plate for the Red Sox. Sonny Gray falls behind 2-0. Pollock fouls one down the right field line. And a ground ball. Right side, Chase Peterson. And the first out of the ALDS is recorded. A look at the Red Sox batting order. Pollock, Simeon, Betts, Shaw, Swihart, Cisco, Alvarez, Mo uh, Yohan Moncada, and Dustin Pedroia, the DH, batting ninth. Here's Marcus Semien, longtime Oakland A. Sonny Gray, the American League Cy Young Award winner. Facing David Price in this matchup. David Price was last season's American League Cy Young Award winner. Red Sox come in at 87 and 75. We finished 89 and 73. We are led by Miguel Sano in all batting categories there and Sonny Gray in all pitching. Marcus Simeon, their leading batter, A.J. Pollock, led the way with 34 home runs, and Simeon had 109 RBIs. David Price, on the pitching side of things, led the Red Sox in all of those categories as well. So a nice matchup here in game number one between Sonny Gray and David Price. Mookie Betts at the plate now with two outs. Top of the first inning, Sonny Gray looking to retire the Red Sox in order here to start the postseason with the Twins. And a check swing. Mookie Betts goes down on strikes. And a nice start for the Cy Young Award winner. This is the second time in this franchise that Sonny Gray has won the Cy Young Award. He won it in 2017 as a member of the Oakland A's. And now we get a look at David Price. 32 starts, 18-5 and five record, a 2.66 ERA. He had another great season, but just bested a little bit by Sonny Gray. All right, Roman Quinn will lead things off for us. He takes the first two pitches over the plate for strikes. And then a chopper right back to David Price on to first. David Price should be around the strike zone a lot in this game. So, Twins, maybe would be wise to be a little bit more aggressive. We don't love to be super aggressive. Sometimes we get a little bit more aggressive than we'd like to be. But when a pitcher's throwing strikes like David Price does, we'll have to see th how things go. 
All right, there's the postseason bracket. We'll get to some of the scores as you see the Rangers. One game one against the Angels. The Dodgers are up 2-0 on the Giants. And the Cardinals, Nationals are all tied up at one. But we will get into the scores a little bit later for those games. But that's where we stand. Here's Nolan Arenado with two outs in the bottom of the first. Good matchup for Arenado against a left-handed pitcher in David Price. We do struggle as a team against lefties. But Arenado does better against them, as does Miguel Sano. The rest of the lineup, we have to sit Michael Conforto. He's terrible against lefties, so he'll be out of the lineup today. And we put Delano DeShields in in his place. A little defense and speed action as Arenado takes a call third strike. And that is how the first inning ends here in game number one. End of the first Target filled, no score. Let's go to inning number two. Top of the second, Travis Shaw will lead things off. 31 home runs on the season. The Red Sox, pretty decent power numbers. They have Shaw and A.J. Pollock, their two leaders in the 30s. Shaw drives this one deep to left. That one's got a chance, and it is gone. And Boston is on the board first in the top of the second inning. Solo home run to the opposite field off the bat of Travis Shaw. It's 1-0 Sox. Next batter is Blake Swihart. So like I was saying, the Red Sox have pretty good power numbers throughout the lineup. Swihart has nine home runs. But they have a couple of guys with 30 and then several guys in the 20s. Right back up the middle into the shift. That's Wilmer Flores on the right side of second base. We look at the defense for the Twins. Outfield, Rosario Quinn and DeShields. Around the infield, you've got Arenado, Flores, Peterson, and Mario Calero at first. Francisco Cervelli behind the plate. And Sonny Gray on the hill today for Minnesota. Here is Red Sox catcher Chance Sisko. One out in the top of the second. 0-1 delivery from Sonny Gray, swung on and missed by Cisco. Now a line drive right side. Uh, Mario Calero makes the catch, Super Mario. He's got a pretty good glove over there at first. Here's Pedro Alvarez, longtime Pittsburgh Pirate. His career still alive and well in this franchise. I don't know if it is in real life. I think he might be out of baseball at this point. There's several players still going in this franchise for me that are actually out of baseball, including a few on our own team. We'll get to that a little bit later. Full count to Alvarez. He's fouled off a few pitches and then pops it to the left side. Arenado will take care of it easily. The shift was on for Alvarez. He went opposite field as well but didn't get great contact. Travis Shaw puts the Red Sox on the board. It's one to nothing. Let's go to the bottom of the second inning with Mel Miguel Sano, the American League MVP. We've got the Cy Young Award winner and the American League MVP. It's amazing that it took us till the final day of the season to clinch the American League Central, and Sano's going to have the first Twins base hit of the postseason. It wasn't a home run like you would expect from Sano, but we'll take it. He's on base to start off the bottom of the second. Wilmer Flores batting behind him. And Flores fouls it down the right field line. Wilmer Flores started out the season hot. He kind of tapered off power-wise, but he stayed pretty consistent, fairly consistent contact-wise for us. He started off by hitting home runs. We thought maybe we had a shortstop power source, but it kind of fizzled. Double play ball. Here's the throw to first in time. And the Red Sox turn two. That'll bring up Eddie Rosario. 252 hitter with 28 home runs, 74 RBIs. And Rosario looks at the first one, 0-1. Here's the delivery. This one's fouled off. Quickly, he's behind 0-2 with two outs. And he gets a hold of this one, sending it deep to right. That one's got a chance into the overhang, and it is gone. Rosario puts us on the board and we're all tied up. And you are hereby circled, young man. 
Eddie Rosario, first home run of the postseason, first run on the board for the Twins. We are all tied here in the bottom of the second. So a quick answer for Minnesota. Now we've got Jace Peterson. He hit 20 home runs on the season. 229 hitter, 53 RBIs. 24th pitch of the night for David Price. 2-0 count. And this one's taken to right, but it's going to fade foul out of play. Check swing. They say he went around, or it was a called strike. I'm not sure which. And David Price gets Jace Peterson to swing and miss. Ending inning number two. All right, so here are yesterday's games. The Nationals beat St. Louis to go up 1-0 in that series, and the Dodgers beat the Giants 3-0 to go up 1-0 in that series. Those were games that happened yesterday. Today, all four series are in play. And you got a little uh, spoiler a little while ago about how they turned out, but we'll don't worry about that now. We'll cover those after this game is over. You'll get a chance to see those scores and where the bracket sits at this point. Here is Chance Cisco as we have moved ahead to inning number five. All tied up at one. Cisco pops it to the right side. Super Mario tracking it. And he'll make the catch. Pedro Alvarez at the plate again. Popped out back in the second inning. And he's going to foul the first pitch off. Sonny Gray, top of the fifth inning, has thrown 63 pitches now. About where you'd expect him to be. And he strikes out Alvarez. Checks to see if there's a hole in his bat. There might have been. Sonny Gray with another strikeout. He led the American League in strikeouts. One of the big things that set him apart from David Price I think David Price had just over 200 strikeouts, and Sonny Gray had somewhere around 260, I think, or 240, I think, something like that. I can't quite remember. But he had a, a good number more strikeouts. The other numbers, the record and the ERA, were pretty similar between Sonny Gray and David Price. But the strikeouts are probably what gave Sonny Gray the Cy Young. 1 2 count to Yohan Moncada. Still playing with the Red Sox in our franchise. And he swings and misses. And strikes out. Middle of the fifth, we're still tied at one. Boston with just that one hit on the board against Sonny Gray. The home run by Travis Shaw. We go to the bottom of the inning. Eddie Rosario would lead things off. He is responsible for the Twins' run back in the second. He homered to right. And he's going to pound this one into the ground and into the shift. So Yohan Moncada still playing for the Red Sox, which means that he was not traded in this franchise to the White Sox for Chris Sale. So Chris Sale is still in Chicago. Chase Peterson at the plate now. One out in the bottom of the fifth. 2-1 count. This one lined right back up the middle. Base hit. And Chase Peterson is aboard with one out for Minnesota. That'll bring up Francisco Cervelli. He's hitting 249 on the season. He's hitting right around 300 with runners in scoring position. I think he ranks third on the team. So he's been pretty clutch for us this year, even though his batting average is under 250. 3 0 count now to Cervelli. And he's going to look at a strike. Delino De Shields is on deck. And another strike. Makes the count full, and then Cervelli is going to take one low, and he's going to get a free pass. So runners on first and second with one out, and Delino DeShields Jr., 261 hitter in the regular season at the plate. Swings and misses. And then he sends one into center field. A.J. Pollock is there. He's going to make the catch. Nobody tagging. Runners stay in put. And we have two outs now in the bottom of the fifth with Roman Quinn at the plate. We picked up him up at the trade deadline and trade with the Philadelphia Phillies. And he's going to line it to right. Mookie Betts is there. And at the end of five, we're still tied up at one. We're going to skip the sixth, head to the seventh. Top of the seventh inning, Blake Swihart stepping into the batter's box. He's hitting 255. Or he hit 255, I should say, in the regular season. Takes a look at ball one. At this point in the game, Sonny Gray has thrown his 80th pitch right there. 
And still working into the seventh. Three one count to Swihart. And this one is hit deep to right. That one is heading back towards the foul pole, and it is going to fade foul, I believe. Let's see what they say. I'm pretty sure that went foul. Yep, that one was foul. But awfully close to putting the Red Sox up by a run. And now he's going to pound it to the right side. Mario Calero flips back to Sonny Gray covering. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Chance Cisco now. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Most of the Red Sox are 0 for, I believe, at this point. All tied up at 1. A couple of solo home runs earlier in the game. Second inning to be exact for each team. And this one is going to be blooped in center field. Roman Quinn coming in is going to get there in plenty of time to make the catch for out number 2. That'll bring up Pedro Alvarez yet again. He's hit, he uh, hit 226. On the regular season, as Sonny Gray approaches the 90 pitch mark on the night. 0-2 count now to Pedro Alvarez. Fouls it off. We do have a solid bullpen. We have a lot of faith in the bullpen. Top rated bullpen in baseball. O2 count with two outs. Fouled off again. And another foul ball down the third baseline from Pedro Alvarez. Staying alive on an 0-2 count. And finally, Sonny Gray gets him to go down. So a pitcher's duel, which probably could have expected that coming into game one with the last two Cy Young Award winners on the hill. David Price still working for the Red Sox. Bottom of the seventh inning, and he's about to just throw his 80th pitch of the night. So he has been very economical. Been around the plate most of the game. Wilmer Flores drives this one deep to left. That one's got a chance. It's back of the wall and it sneaks out. Wilmer Flores with a solo home run and it puts the Twins up in the seventh inning. All solo home runs in this game. That's what all the scoring has come from. Base runners have been a uh, little bit hard to come by against these two pitchers. David Price stays in. Eddie Rosario now at the plate. 1-1 count. This one's off the plate inside. Twins have taken their first lead of the postseason here. Rosario with another drive. This one's deep to right. And that one is going to be off the scoreboard. And Rosario is going to hold up at second. Twins, maybe with the makings of a big inning here. That's going to be all for David Price. Solid outing for him. Red Sox are going to turn it over to Matt Barnes. 3.77 ERA during the regular season. And he's going to face the lefty Jace Peterson. With a runner on second. Nobody out yet in the inning. 1-1 one, one delivery from the righty Barnes. Off the plate. 2-1. And swung on and missed. 2-2 count. This one chopped to the right side. That's going to be an easy out, but it's going to move the runner up 90 feet to third with Francisco Cervelli at the plate, one of our top clutch hitters on the ball club. And Cervelli's going to hit right into the third baseman. Who was, the entire infield was actually playing in, and that's going to keep the runner at third with two outs now for Delano DeShields. And DeShields on the very first pitch. Hits an easy fly ball into center field. A.J. Pollock barely has to move. But we are through seven at target field. Twins off the bat of Wilmer Flores have taken a 2-1 lead. Let's go to the eighth. We're going to bring in our right-handed setup guy, Derek Wells. 54 and two-third innings. He has a 1.48 ERA. Fantastic setup guy. Maybe the closer in waiting, honestly, once Kevin Segrist's contract runs out after next season. One two count now to Yoan Moncada, the number eight hitter in the Red Sox lineup. He swings at the changeup over the top of it, and he goes down. 
now we have Dustin Pedroia. Our first look at Petey in this series. He is 0 for 1. He fouls this one straight back. Here's the 0-2 delivery from Wells. Ooh, that was close, but call the ball. 1-2 count. That one's up high. 2-2. Two, 2, two Pedroia. Petey fouls one down the right field line. And that one's going to catch the inside corner. Just takes a slice out of the right side of home plate. Painting the black is Derek Wells for the second strikeout of the game for him. Now he faces A.J. Pollock, the leadoff hitter. Pollock one for two on the day. 2-1 two count. And the slider. Swung on a miss. Derek Wells has a great slider. A lot of lateral movement on Derek Wells' slider. We might get a look at it right there. We do. Three up, three down. All strikeouts from Derek Wells. Middle of the eighth. Twins lead at 2-1. to one. Let's go to the bottom, see if we can pad our lead a little bit for the closer, Kevin Segrist. Roman Quinn at the plate to lead things off against Matt Barnes, who has taken the hill for another inning. Tried to get the Red Sox to the top of the ninth with only a one-run deficit. And Roman Quinn's going to hit this one the other way, slap it into left for a base hit. And now we've got some speed on the base pass with Roman Quinn. Number two hitter, hitter Mario Calero at the plate now. Roman Quinn, pretty good speed. Not a super great base stealer, though. As you know, we have struggled all season stealing bases. But one of the two guys on our squad that do manage to steal bases is Roman Quinn, as you see Mario Calero strike out looking. Here is Nolan Arenado now with one out. Bottom of the eighth, Arenado first pitch. Ground ball right into an easy inning ending double play. Turn from Simeon to Moncada, on to first to Alvarez. We go to the ninth. It's 2-1 to one. Minnesota. We're going to bring in our closer, Kevin Segrist. 34 saves and 40 save opportunities during the regular season. Here is Marcus Simeon. He's 0 for 3 on the day. He lifts this one deep to left. And it is caught out there by Eddie Rosario for the first out. We're two outs away from taking a 1-0 lead in the series. Mookie Betts at the plate now. One for three on the day. Segrist. This one's popped up behind short. Flores going back. He's going to call for it. In shallow left field. And it is Wilmer Flores who makes the play for out number two. So Travis Shaw, who homered back in the second. Lefty on lefty matchup with Segrist. And Segrist gets ahead with strike one. 0-1 oh, one delivery. Up high, 1-1 one, one count. Travis Shaw could tie this one up with one swing of the bat. Not a swing like that, though. 1-2 count. That was a pretty ugly hack. And another ugly hack from Travis Shaw. And the Twins go up 1-0 in the American League Division Series by winning game one here at Target Field. Always good in a five-game series to get that first one under your belt. 2-1 win. Twins lead the series 1-0. Eddie Rosario 2-for-3 with a home run, a double, an RBI. Wilmer Flores 1-for-3 with a, a home run and an RBI as well. Miguel Sano incidentally went 1-for-3. Delano Shields 1-for-3. Eddie Rosario is the player of the game. Sonny Gray credited with the win. And David Price will get the loss for the Red Sox. All right, let's look at some other scores from today's action. The Rangers beat the Angels 5-0. They lead that series one game to zero. And game twos of the National League, the Cardinals tie up the series at one game apiece with a win over the Nats, and the Dodgers take a 2-0 lead over the Giants with a 4-1 lead. So there's your playoff bracket. As this episode comes to a close, Rangers and Twins have a 1-0 lead. The Cardinals and Nationals are tied at one, and the Dodgers have a 2-0 lead on the Giants. So up next, we'll have game two of the Twins and Red Sox in the American League Division Series. It's Minnesota Twins franchise on Mama's Basement Sports Game.